During development, the application JPA data model evolves. Therefore, the database evolves along with it. To manage database versioning, there are specialized solutions, and Liquibase is one of the most popular ones. It stores database changes in the specialized script ChangeLog. Developers can either append database changes to a single ChangeLog file or can create separate script files and include references to them into the main ChangeLog. Whichever approach we choose, writing change logs is a laborious and error-prone process. With JPA Buddy, we can generate liquid-based change logs fast, control changes that may cause problems, and manage Java to database types mapping. Let's suppose that we have a small blog application with JPA data model and liquid-based library attached as the application dependency. We don't have a database for the application yet, so we need to create it. To do this, we need to create liquid-based scripts, append them to the main change log, and execute it. With JPA Buddy, we can generate a database initialization script. As a source for our liquid-based scripts, we can choose the JPA model to generate a new database based on entities code or an existing database to be able to replicate it in another environment. In our case, we need to create a database from scratch, so we'll choose the JPA model option. JPA Buddy supports all popular relational databases. In our application, we're going to use PostgreSQL. In the preview window, we can see all the statements that JPA Buddy will generate for us. Let's specify the migration script file name and include this script into the main change log. JPA Buddy supports all four liquid-based change log formats, for our application, we'll generate change logs in XML format. Great! The script is generated. Let's execute it and ensure that everything works. To do this, JPA Buddy provides the Liquibase update action. We don't even need to configure the Maven or Gradle plugin to do this. We can see that all scripts were executed. and the database has been created. Now let's add some changes to our JPA model. The user's email should be unique and mandatory, and nobody uses faxes anymore, so we can remove the corresponding column. First, let's make the email attribute mandatory using Entity Inspector. Next, delete the fax attribute in the code. Also, we need to store comments in our blog application. For the comment ID attribute, we'll use the generation type identity. The post entity will relate to the comment as one to many, meaning that one post can have many comments. Also, we need to add the following attributes to make a proper comment. It's text, commentator or author, and date. OK, we've updated the data model. Now we need to update the database accordingly. JPA Buddy allows us to generate a diff change log by comparing entities with the database schema. In the preview window, you can notice that some statements are green, some are yellow, and some are red-colored. Green changes are safe and don't require additional attention. Yellow may fail during the execution. For example, adding a not null constraint to a table with the existing data needs your attention. JPA Buddy allows you to define the default value to update null values before applying the not null constraint. Let's specify the NA, or not available value, for all empty emails right from the preview window. Operations marked with the red color may cause data loss that cannot be undone. In our case, JPA Buddy detects the unmapped column, one that is missing in the user entity. Sometimes we might not need to drop unmapped columns. For example, they could be used by other software. To avoid doing it accidentally next time, we can move proposed changes to the ignore list so they won't appear again. 
Now we can set the changelog name and include it into the main changelog like we did earlier. OK, let's run the script and update the database. It works like a charm. Oops, we forgot to add a unique constraint for the email field in the user entity. Let's fix this. JPA Buddy allows us to append changes right to the current changelog. Let's do it to avoid cluttering the project with many small changelog files. Great! Let's update the final changes to our database. In this video, we had a look at the database versioning process with Liquibase and JPA Buddy. I hope that it'll be useful to you. And thank you for watching.